welcome back. I want to go camping, damn it. But what do you do when you have a significant other who's allergic to the sun? I'm not saying that to exaggerate or be dramatic. Andy literally has, like, really sensitive skin and being in the sun or humidity or heat triggers it. So really, summer is just not the best time for Andy. He does not like to be outside because it triggers his condition. So I cannot go camping right now. So I have to wait until fall because actually you can go camping in Seoul and camping is like a community. It's like a thing you can do in Korea, but I have to wait until fall. But I don't want to wait until fall. I want to go camping now. So we are going to have a mini inside camping day here in Seoul in the summertime when Andy cannot really be outside for long periods of time. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to an indoor fishing cafe, even though I don't think they serve cafe drinks, I don't know. And we're gonna go inside fishing. I have not been fishing in 10 years. Andy has only been fishing once before in life, but it's a campy activity and I just want to do something camping-ish. So we're gonna go indoor fishing and then we're gonna go to a cafe that has a VW Bug inside of it, which is kind of campy, because you can camp inside of those buses and travel the country. So that's what we're going to do today, little inside camping things. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. <laughs> All right, I am walking to our local mart under the disguise of needing to buy cheese to make scrambled eggs in a couple minutes before we leave, and also to get like Andy a coffee. But I am also going to try to find what I can to make some version of a s'more later for dessert after we get home and it's a surprise for him. I don't know if he's ever had a s'more before and I don't know if I can make like a proper one here but we'll see what I can find. Hopefully it'll be enough to construct something of a s'more. Okay there's no like literal just straight up marshmallow but this kind of cookie is really popular in Korea. It has like a marshmallow center so I was kind of like buy a box of these and just like cut off the cookie part and just use the marshmallow center but they have not these um these like hershey's chocolate version of this so i feel like instead of just cutting off the cookie and using the marshmallow plus a chocolate bar i'll just try to heat this up over our gas stove maybe and melt it just a little bit and put it on crackers so that is what I'm gonna try to do. Here is our Korean convenience store, s'more ingredient number one. This is my choice for a graham cracker replacement because graham crackers are not like, like they're a little sweet, but they're not like anything like this. And they're not like salty. So I feel like this wheat biscuit is going to be as good as I'm gonna get. So Hershey's pie, hopefully we can get it a little melty on a biscuit. Here we go. This is, uh, we'll see what happens, what comes out of this tonight. Ta-da! Clean Fishing Cafe! Let's go!
hero! Thank you. Okay, we are now at the cafe that has the like camper VW van inside. What's it called? Ho Ho Mule? Mule? The fishing cafe was fun. I don't know if we would go back. It was funny, but I kind of felt bad. I'm not really into the sport of hunting or fishing. So it made me, it gave me that like campy vibe, camping kind of activity vibe thing, but I don't know if we'll go back. But if anyone coming to Seoul is really into fishing, I would recommend those places. They looked pretty fun. Um, so now we're just gonna relax with some coffee and head into this cute place and hopefully we can sit in the VW then. I love you. So they have a lot of like typical coffee stuff, but also a lot of unique things. Like I think I'm gonna get the maple latte. And they have like coconut coffee, they have Baileys and Irish coffee, which I'm excited about, but not today. And here's like the cake selection. They have Kopi Luwak, which is the weasel poop coffee that Andy and I taste tested before. $30. Kopi Luwak. They have some pretty expensive stuff, but that just makes me feel like this is a real coffee shop and not only here for the interior. Oops. They also have alcohol and AIDS. So. I think I'm gonna get the maple latte. That sounds really good. So that's the coffee of the day you got, the hand drip. Yeah. And here's my maple latte. So the owner told Andy that he has to taste it like wine. Mmm. Is it good? Seven? That's pretty high for you. <laughs> it really does look like you're drinking wine. That's so funny. Mm, that's really good. That's like a perfect cup of coffee. The perfect level of sweetness. So much coffee in Korea is oversweetened. This is like the perfect level of sweetness for me. You can still taste the coffee. It doesn't taste like syrup. And you can taste the milk. This is a really good coffee shop. Like, despite having a really cool interior, like, this guy knows how to make good coffee. There's a sign, like, call me master. Coffee master? <laughs> like, my, you should call me, like, master. So we got Oreo cheesecake. We originally wanted to order the New York cheesecake, but it was sold out. So, here we have the Oreo cheesecake. It has some almonds. Is this, is that ice cream? I guess. It's ice cream. This presentation is pretty solid. It's so cute. Wait, I love it here. Can this be like our new go-to cafe? This is so cute. Give you everything you want me to. Think about it if I could. Up and down the moon. little like BW camp bus especially because like I don't know if I've mentioned it before on the channel but our new dream our next dream after our chat our chapter of life in Korea is to get a tiny house and tour the US right and I have an aunt who is really artistic she's actually a professional glass blower and she has offered to build me a tiny house if I pay her for it. So like, I don't know. And my cousin, one of my cousins, um, does like flip. He flips houses professionally, which means like taking a really old or rundown house and kind of rebuilding it to be like trendy or not trendy, but just like what the buyer wants. So I don't know. I feel like I could get a really good team of family members together to build us like a decked out tiny home so we can travel the country back in America. So, get used to it, babe. This little bus is our new future. Just kidding, there's no toilet in here. We need a toilet. This is a full VW van, just like inside a cafe. Can't wait for our tiny home in the future. It's gonna be so much fun. But that means we have to wait to get a pet, I think, because 
I don't know what having a tiny home is going to be like with a cat and or dog or a goat because I want a goat in the future too, but we'll talk about that later. You don't want a little mountain goat? Yeah, the mountain goat. We're not going to tour the country with the mountain goat, right? We are gonna head out in about five minutes and I will see you guys at home. Okay, so we're home now and we've had dinner. And after dinner, I started playing The Witcher. And Andy thinks I'm still playing The Witcher. But he's in our room with the door closed watching YouTube. So now is my chance, I think, to make him the like s'mores thing I wanted to make. I told him I have a surprise treat for him, but he doesn't know what it is. So, um, I don't, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm hoping it's not awful. <laughs> so while he still thinks I'm playing The Witcher, let's try to make a s'more-ish snack. <laughs> so these are the crackers I got earlier, and this is the choco pie thing so it's chocolate on the inside chocolate cake and like this part you can see here is like a marshmallow filling so the plan is to melt that stick it on the crackers and have um honestly it would probably be much less messy to just eat it like that but i'm gonna be difficult and try to melt it first It's already getting melty. I don't, ah, oh, the chocolate is probably gonna melt so much faster than the marshmallow. It's worth a try anyway, we'll see. Okay, we can see the marshmallow has made an appearance. Um, I think I'm gonna call it quits now and just put it on the cracker. I don't wanna risk anything. That looks s'moresy, right? Let's focus, please. Yeah, the marshmallow left on the stick, or in this case, the chopstick. All right, let's present present our gift to the beloved who suffered in the heat and humidity today for the sake of me having something of a camping experience inside. Babe, your snack is ready. You smell burning? That's the point! I made you a s'more! Be careful, I don't know if it's hot or not. You've never had a s'more? Oh, so you don't even know what to compare it to. Can I have a bite? <gasps> it tastes like a s'more! Oh, I'm so happy! My experiment worked! Mm. Happy camping day! <laughs> I love you too. I'm gonna eat your crumbs. 